Hi, welcome back to Quinn Wapa Creations tutorial videos. And today is part two of my live Zoom session with my beading circle on how I do my peyote stitch hat brim. Um, I wanted to make sure that we got all of the information in. So this video may be a little longer than normal. But I um, got my uh, my foundation row onto my hat and did the rest with the Nymo nylon beading thread, um, size 12 beading needles, and hope you enjoy this video. All right, so now you can start on either end, but I, it's just a thing with me that I'm gonna, I'm gonna start in the middle. <laughs> and you, you're going to do it any way that you're comfortable. You can either do all your top diamonds and then turn it over and do all your back diamonds. Or you can just do one whole diamond at a time. You know, whichever. I think I'll try to do one whole diamond at a time. That way you guys can see what it looks like when it when it starts folding over. So remember when you get your spine on, you need to be able to have your needle fit through there. You need to not be too tight. Needs to be a little loose. It might be just me. <laughs> All right, so this is the center bead and this center bead, that's your diamond. Okay, so I'm going to come up and come up to the right of that center bead, blue bead. And I'm going to go through that one and the next blue because that next blue is my first POD bead there. Okay. I want to be inside that blue one. <clears throat> and now I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me. And now I'm going to POD straight across to the other side. <laughs> so my first row is going to be, is going to fit in. Because I have, so you, you're you're starting right here on this. Oh, you can't see me, can you? You're starting right here on this second blue uh, bead here. Because I, I went through this one and this one. Okay? okay? So your first spot to put a bead in is going to be through that white one. Are you tacking it? Are you tacking it on the cap? No, I'm not tacking it on the cap on this first row. Okay. Because we're just doing the first row here, so your I'm, blue um, is going to keep going up. So your first bead is that to put on a a third blue bead is where you're going to start there. Okay. So. There's my first two blue. And I'm going to put my next blue in. Okay, so I'm going to skip one and put the blue in. All right. So then that gives me my third, <clears throat> my third blue in the row. You see that? Yes. And that's going to set right on top of that white. And so your next bead is going to, if you can see that little kind of daisy there, it, you're going to put that white one right on top of that black. <clears throat> All right. And then we'll just continue on across.
You don't want to pull too tight. <clears throat> so if, I don't, that's your way. So your next bead is going to start because this is the, this is your inside diamond or right there. These blue right here. So now you're going to start that red. That is right there. Kind of pull it snug so it's starting to pull together. But I don't want it too tight. <clears throat> now that's your inner diamond right there. So you'll put another blue. All right, and that's my third in that inner diamond. So that gets me to the center. And my black, um, I already have my two black on from the spine. So my top black should go in there. And then I'm just <clears throat> going to repeat that same all the way back over to here, to the other side. All right, so I'm going to put my <laughs> blue one on, and um, and then I'm going to go back to this center blue, because that's the point of my diamond, and I'm just doing it so that I can pretend like I know what I'm doing. All right, now, now, all right, so now I'm going to turn my hat around here. And now that is my diamond. So I'm at the other point over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right next to that point. And I'm going to go into the fabric. And I'm going to come out right here. Because I want to be in that bead. Okay. That's the bead I just put put on when I went over. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So I'm going to go right there through the fabric. And that is how you attach your diamond to the hat. So I'm coming up right next to that. And then I will go through that blue bead. And now I'm, I don't want to pull too tight, I'm, but I'm going to pull just a little snug because I want to start making sure that my beads sit on top of each other now. All right. They're still loose and I want them that way, but I'm still going to make sure they're kind of getting a little aligned. So my next one is the next blue bead. To that diamond. Don't me. Okay. All right. And then we're going to just go across and continue with our diamond design. Now you're you're going to finish off this white. You're going to finish off this white triangle right here, the the bottom half, or the top half. <clears throat> so you're gonna have a white one there, okay? And that white one, that is the, that's the triangle right there. That's my top half. So now I'm, I've gone through my red. So my next color is the orange, but I'm gonna go through my fabric right next to that bead. And I'm going to come up right where this one is going to sit. Okay. All right. So we're going to pull that a little snug. And we're right there where we want that. We're going to go through that bead. And we're going to get that to lay down. Snug that up there. It's 
So we're just doing our, we're just going to do, oops, sorry. We're just going to do our diamond to the top. Okay. okay. So you're just going to go back across. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and now, <clears throat> now that you got your, <laughs> Excuse me. Now that you got your um, bead connected to the hat, now it's going to start laying down. Can you see it's going to curve? Mm -hmm. But you don't want to pull it too tight because I want my diamond to look like a diamond and not some weird thing that... <laughs> okay, I can see that. It's already going to start, if you can see that. So already start forming to my brim. Can you see that? Yeah. And I want that to stay because you can still see there's still some space in there. So I'm not pulling it too tight because I don't want to ruin my my angle. <laughs> All right. Now in there is blue, is yellow. Yeah, I, I flip this around. Now I want to make sure my angle is there. So I'm going to let my beads set where they want or where they need to be. That black should be in line right there. So I want to make sure I'm lined up because I want that to be right there. So I'm going to go in right where that bead needs to set. And I'm going to come up right where I want this next one to set. I got to make sure it's lined up. And I'm going to come up right where I want it to be. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right. So that pulls that bead right where I want it to be there. And then I go through. And that gets this bead right where I want it to be. And it's and then you see that it's starting to form over the room. All right, so now see I got my thread too far away. I didn't have it in the right spot. See, that would be another reason why I don't just go because, but I can color that in with a a black marker if I don't want to take it out. So now I'm gonna get myself right there. And come right up where I want. So I'm gonna make sure my beads are lined up before I attach it to the hat. So I'm gonna go down right there and come up right there. All right, so now it's really starting to curve over. And now um, my diamond is just going to keep going up now. All right, there we go. I am to the point. And now I want to make sure that my all my beads are lined up and... My lines are straight. And I'm going to get my point right where it needs to be. Right. Okay, now there is my first diamond. Now I'm going to take my, actually, I'm going to. I'm going to secure this. I'm going to go back. 
and go through this beat again. I'm gonna go through this beat again. I'm gonna go all, I'm just gonna go straight down, back down to where I started. And then I'm gonna go through that. And then go back up to that second blue. And I am in line to start that next diamond. He has to okay. cool. So what I did is I just come back through and then I'm just gonna repeat this this pattern down to the back side. All right. So when I um, go the other side, I want to make sure I'm, and now I can pull a little bit tighter and get these beads lined up to the back side. i make sure my beads are lined up when I All right, I'm gonna make sure I get my bead where I want it, and I'm gonna go back through again. Go back to that bead, and then I'm gonna go all the way down. Oh, okay. And go. Back to where it started. Through that blue bead. That's my point of the diamond. Okay. And then just go through that blue next blue bead. And that gets me to start that next diamond. Just like that. Yeah. I remember. But that looseness, when you start pulling that tension, it, it just wraps over. Okay, that was the video on how I do my peyote stitch brim hat, hat brim. And I hope that you enjoyed the video and our live Zoom session. And appreciate you stopping by and supporting me. Be sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel to support me so that I can continue providing you with this free educational um, information. I enjoy doing it um, and would love to have your support. So you can also um, visit my website at www.kunawapawcreations.com. I have a newsletter um, that I will getting, be getting back to to provide um, the information that I do in my uh, Facebook group along with there. So you can stop by and join my Creation Corner Beating Circle. It's where I do my live uh, beating circle sessions on Sunday afternoons. And I provide a lot of uh, tips and techniques and uh, information there. And I also have an Etsy shop, www.quinoapawcreations.etsy.com. In there, I have all of the kits and patterns that I use during my live Zoom sessions and other things I make. And if you would like to support me, you could become a member of my coffee club and buy me a coffee. I would appreciate it. It would really help to keep me going, providing free information. And Thanks for stopping by. I hope that I see you again. Bye.